Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Sun. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering and the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Virginia. I'm very glad to present for my team. The topic is Adaptive Spatial Resolution Variable EEG. In today's presentation, I will give a brief introduction of the motivation and the background of the project. And then I will talk about the computational framework followed by the experiment and the results. And then I will give a short conclusion. So we often talk about EEG. EEG is a standard technique for measuring scalp electrical signals generated by brain activities which is widely used for disease diagnoses and treatments, as well as in brain-computer interfaces. Clinical EEG systems normally use standard electrode placements, such as the International 1020 or 1010 system with 10 to 64 electrodes over the scalp. Here, the left figure shows the International 1020 system. The middle one has a higher density of electrodes, which is called the 1010 system. They are the two common electrode placement methods with the names of all electrodes shown on the scalp. Here, the 10 and 20 refer to the fact that the actual distances between adjacent electrodes are either 10% or 20% of the total front back or right left of the skull. So in recent years, high density EEG and ultra high density EEG with 206 and 56 to 1000 electrodes are successfully developed. And they are also being used in clinical and research applications as well. Here, the right figure shows a typical high density EEG. We can see that the spatial resolution of EEG electrodes is much higher than the traditional 1020 or 1010 system. Variable EEG systems are developed in recent years. They are smaller and lighter devices for EEG recording in daily applications. Variable EEG systems have higher comfort and can provide an excellent solution for identifying potential biomarkers beyond the clinical settings. Here, these figures are commercialized the products that we can find in the market. They provide different applications. We can see that the electrodes can have lower resolution or higher resolution. In the real application, low spatial resolution in verbal conditions may not meet the clinical standards for diagnoses. They probably cannot provide enough information for um, the conclusion. However, high spatial resolution can cause variable issues and high power consumption in long-term monitoring in these auto-hospital settings. So it is valuable to provide a EEG recording with high spatial resolution from a lower spatial resolution electrode placement design. Our solution is that we provide an adaptive resolution EEG by matrix com completion-based computational framework. The idea is that we only use a few electrodes instead of the full 1010 uh, international system. We can also reconstruct the full field of EEG recording. Our uniqueness is that we use the state-of-the-art interpolation approach that exploits the implicit feature structure of the two-dimensional signals and formulates it as a matrix completion problem. So, so in our proposed computational framework, we assume that we perform the EEG measurements at a limited set of random positions of the unknown EEG full field. We assume we have M channels and N10 samples for each channel. The available measurement data is a random subset of the complete set, which is the whole EEG. Then we use the convex optimization program. 
the overall EEG can be accurately recovered with an overvime the probability of success by solving the following converse optimization program. By using this program, we, it is possible to find the limited set of random positions of the recording so that we can use the results to recover the full field EEG from these limited measurements. To estimate the performance of our results, we use the root mean square error as the evaluation matrix. Here, the first equation is the one-dimensional uh, RMSE, and the second equation is the two-dimensional RMSE. The RMSE computes the reconstructed error and evaluates how accurate the reconstructed data is in representing the original data. Then we start our experiment. We chose the data from MIT BIH database and the data set we chose contains 64 EEG channels per the International 1010 system. Here, the figure on the right shows the electrode placements um, among the scalp. The sampling frequency is 160 hertz. In our experiment, we reduce the total EEG recordings to 50%, 25%, and 10%. When we did the experiment for 50%, it means we were using 32 channels to recover the full 64 EEG channels. And also 25% means we used um, 16 channels to recover the full field EEG, and 10% means six channels. So these experiments are to simulate the limited electrode placements for EEG measurement. And then we recovered the 64 channel EEG signals from these reduced cases using our proposed computational framework. Here, the green dots, they are 25%, means we had 16 electrodes. We can see that with the 25% of electrodes, the variable design is much better for a better comfort. When we have 10%, means we only use the six electrodes to recover the full EEG, and these can provide a better variable design for variable EEG systems. This slide shows the results. Here, the figure on the left shows the recovered results with different percentage of EEG placements. Here, the figure A right here is the original EEG field in a special temporal uh, condition. If when we have 50% of measurement, we can have a special temporal result that is comparable to the original EEG. We can see that they look almost the same. Here, the C, the figure C, is the result recovered from 25% of EEG recordings. We can see that the, the special temporal results are similar to the original EEG recording as well. When we have 10% of measurement, means we only use the six electrodes to recover the full EEG field, we can still see the pattern. But here we can, we can tell the error is relatively higher. Still, the pattern is clear. The figure on the right shows the RMSE increasing with the decrease of the percentage of electrode placement. In this figure, the y-axis is 1 minus RMSE to show how close the reduced percentage electrode placement is to the original EEG. Once we have 10% of e electrode placement, the percentage the, is, uh, 90, is still over 99%. 
once we have 50% of electrode placement, the percentage is over 99.6%. As a brief conclusion, in this study, we developed a computational framework for adaptive spatial resolution EEG systems, which is capable of using a limited number of EEG electrodes to achieve high spatial resolution measurement. The method can be directly applied for guiding variable EEG system design, as well as achieving high-density EEG from traditional clinical systems. The proposed method is based on the matrix completion technique that can exploit the implicit feature structure of the spatial temporal EEG signals. The results validate the high recovery accuracy with the RMSE under 5% with 75% placement reduction.